Hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Are you there, student? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are you there, students? Dear students, be my guest. Hello. Let me just fix my lights right here. I'm going to try to Turn on everything. How are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Hello, hello, hello. Caleb, teacher Caleb here. Who is there? Can you hear me well? Yes or no? Regina, are you there? Oscar, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, great, 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 great. How are you doing tonight, Iris? It's nice, right, teacher. It's How good. was your day? Uh, I was the, the cleaning my house at the moment. Oh. Uh, in my You're day. You're cleaning your house right now? Yeah, it's the moment. Nice. Good woman, <laughs> huh? A dream woman. Yeah. Um, in my doing work, housework. I, in my words, I heard because I the different um invite or I don't know pedidos requests. Uh, excuse me. Requests. Re requests. Yes. Yeah, the different requests. In my you have work. many. You have much work today. You had much work today, huh? Much. It's hard. Much and hard much. work. Yeah. Very, very uh, hard. Okay, but but very productive. Yeah. Right? It's woman in hard. Sure. You are you are a you are a hard hard working woman. Yeah. Hard really. working woman. Hard working woman. Nice, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, and Mr. Oscar Armando, how's it going, Mr. Oscar? How are you tonight? Uh, I am fine. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm speak fine. up. Speak up. Uh, How are you today, Oscar? How are you today? I'm, I'm very fine. You say, I am very yeah. well. Very well, very well. I'm I am very, very good. See, but very good. Repeat. Very, very good. well. Very yes. good. Very good. All right. Yes. Yes. So your day is good. Your day is good. You had a good day. That's nice. I'm glad to hear. So we're going to wait for the other students right now, guys, because I see only two students today, huh? Only two yes. students. Let me send a message on the WhatsApp chat right now. Uh, maybe other, other, uh -huh. um, the most other, maybe other compromises, anything? Appointments. Uh, appointments. Mm hmm Maybe other appointments. You have you have many appointments, huh? You are a VC man. Yes. Other classmates. I'm gonna I'm gonna send a message right now on the chat so they can 
they can see it. Hey, 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 we are in class. Where are you, right? Where are you? Okay, so how was your day? Hey, welcome, we have more students right here. We have Eliseo, we have uh, Jose, we have Jennifer. What's up guys, welcome, come on in. How's it going? Ready for the weekend? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Awesome. Any plans for the weekend? Rest as much as I can. Rest as much as you can. You're not going yes, out in anything, huh? That's not your plan. Maybe I, I will go with some friends to to eat, but I'm not sure. Oh, to eat. Okay, you're going to meet so you can go to a restaurant or something like that. Yes, right. but I'm not sure they haven't confirmed yet. Okay, so you are you are uh, like deciding right now, right? Taking the yeah. decision. Already, that's nice. I'm glad to hear. What about you, Eliseo? Good to see you, sir. You look very comfortable. <laughs> How are you, sir? Flores? Are you there? Are you there, Mr. Flores? No, he's having some audio. I'm sorry, internet connection problems. Let me go with Jennifer Torres. How are you, Jennifer? How is everything today? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm doing well, ready for the weekend. Are you ready for the weekend? Do you have any yes, plans? Sir. Yes, I visited my family. You're visiting your family this weekend? Yes, I visited my family in the weekend. Where is that? Um, he lives um, in Awachapan. Awachapan, nice. Have a good trip, okay? Okay, thank you. My pleasure. What about you, Iris? You have any plans for the weekend? Is the morning nothing the plan? Teacher only welcome. Okay, you say you say at the moment. At the moment, I don't have any plans. I don't have any plans. Repeat. Is the moment? At I the moment. At the moment. Yes. I didn't have any plans. Okay, let me repeat again. Okay. Okay. At the moment, at the moment, I don't have any plans. I, I don't have any plans. Capiche? Yeah, really. Thank excellent, you. excellent, excellent. Yeah, sometimes uh, it is is good. It's good not having a plan, you know, because sometimes improvising is best. It's very times. Do you agree, guys? Sometimes when you improvise, suddenly you, you take a decision. Hey, you know what? I will go to the gym right now. I will go to the park right now. I will visit such, I don't know, friend or, or family member and, and, and everything goes well. Does it happen to you? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's better, uh, huh? Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. All right. So let's ask Vidal, uh, do you have access to participate, Mr. Mejia? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. How are you? Uh, good. All right, sir. I can I can hear your very um, romantic back there, huh? <laughs> es, es un es un antro de la par que tiene música. <laughs> there is a there is a discotheque next door. Eh, pues como un restaurante y a la vez bebida. All right, it's a restaurant and a bar. 
Yes, yes. Use your English, Vidal. Use your English. Come on. Yes, yes. yes. It's yes. a restaurant. So it's a restaurant and a it's bar. A it's a restaurant and a park. In a bar. In a bar. Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. How are you, Vidal? Good, good. Very Great. good. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Any plans for the weekend? Can work. Any, any plan? Any plan? The you can say I don't have any plans. I don't have. Any I don't plans. have. I don't have any plans the moment. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Okay. Or in this moment. Um, all right. All right. All right. Let's get started with the class. Today, we're going to have another conversation practice. I want you to get ready for participating. If it's difficult for you to speak, you can chat your answer and we will all review your example and answer your, your questions and solve your doubts. Remember, this is about active participation. So whether you speak, you participate, or you chat your answer in the option, okay? Capiche? So let me share right now my uh, screen, and you please tell me if you're able to see it. Give me one second here. Give me one quick second. Okay. So some students are saying that they have uh, some um, appointments, right? Some of them are working. Some of them are in other sort of classes such as the university classes. So it's kind of, kind of um, comprehensible. Although, you know, we're going to miss them today. Okay, so I think right now I can be able to share my screen with you. I'm sorry, my um, my computer is at acting out right now. Okay, there you go. So here I'm going to go back to Zoom. And I'm going to share with you my screen. Um, practically, we're going to fix that we have seen and we're going to have conversations on it. So please have your notebook ready, have your pen ready, right? So you can take notes, you can participate, you can double check any uh, structure. So this is the topic we're gonna, we're gonna speak about. Uh, this is something, remember, this is something we already studied, right? And we're trying to, we're trying to excel your, your speaking skills. Hi, everyone. So what I want to do is that I want to see the formula, which is this, okay. So here's what we're going to do. These, these questions, uh, we told you guys that these type of questions, they are more formal. They are more uh, professional, uh, you know, in a group conversation or a one-on-one -on -one conversation, right? It's different than you say, it's different when you say, uh, where is the bank? Then when you ask, could you tell me where the bank is? That's a lot different, right? And um, for example, where are the re where are the restrooms? And you can kindly better ask, do you know where the restrooms are? Right? So there we are using the bird to be, right? And here we're using uh, other ways to ask questions like that. So I wanna start with this one. 
I want to start with this one and I want you to create WH questions or share WH questions so we can transfer them into indirect questions to sound more polite, to sound more professional. Okay. Do you understand? Do you have any questions so far? Yes, no, maybe. No question. No, okay, teacher. so in that case, I'm going to give you two minutes, prepare your WH questions using the verb to be, so we can start easily with that way, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Two minutes and create WH questions. Two minutes. Only WH. That way, we're going to... Um, make your classmates transfer your WH question to more professional questions. Two minutes, go ahead. Take notes, take notes, Vidal, write your questions, write your questions, escribe to pregunta and el cuaderno. Write your question, please. Work, work. I'm Teacher, giving you. Repeat, please. Okay, okay. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes to make. Two minutes to make. Um, w H questions with the verb to be. Let me share my screen again. Let's see. Now it doesn't show me the option to share. That's pretty strange. I'm gonna take a picture then. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm having some problems sharing. I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna post it on the on the group. Okay. Okay, go to the WhatsApp chat. Go to the WhatsApp chat and you will see the image. Go to the go to the WhatsApp chat and you will see the image because I'm having some problems. I'm having some problems sharing the screen. I don't know why, but go to the go to the WhatsApp chat and you will see the screen. Okay, Vidal, Sandra? Yes? Okay. No? Maybe? What's up, hey, Pedro? Go ahead. But okay. Repeat, please. Make um, questions, WH questions with the bird to be. For example, where is the bank? Where is the academy? Where is Metro Centro Mall? Okay. Where is the bus stop? Where is the bank? Where is the ta where where can I where can I no no I no pero solo con el verbo to be ahorita. Where are the um what? Where are the chairs? I don't know. Where are the tables? Where are the um, banks in plural? Where are the restaurants? Where are the um, food courts? Where are the malls? Where are the stores? Plural and singular. Okay, okay, okay. We got one question, but I'm giving you, I'm giving you two minutes right now. I'm giving you two minutes to make questions. Go ahead. If you're ready, because I need many questions. I need many questions. Have me from three to five questions, please. From three to five questions. Who is ready? Are you ready? Okay, you're working. I understand you are working right now. How many questions you have? Oscar, how many questions you have? Uh, One, two, three, me? four. Could you tell me where is discotheque? 
Where is the discotheque? Where is the discotheque? Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, Sandra, can you can you make can you make sorry. Sorry, that's my dog. Um can you make that question in um indirect question? Where where is the church? No, no, no. That's not the that's not the question. Um the uh, repeat Oscar, repeat Oscar. You tell me where is the discotheque? Where is the discotheque? Can you that is a that is a WH question? The exercise is to transfer that question to indirect question. Are you checking? Are you checking the image on the WhatsApp chat, Sandra? Okay. Do you have access to the to the WhatsApp chat? Are you checking the, the image, the picture? Yes. Okay, so I need you to transfer that into indirect question. Go ahead. Hello? Okay. Uh, can you try, Jose? Where is the discotheque? Can you make it indirect question, please? Can you tell me where the discotheque is? Excellent. Can you tell me where the discotheque is? It's more formal, it's more polite. Please try to participate. Let's go ahead and we, we're gonna check the chats that we have right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chats. We have seven chats. So let's give attention to these people that are also participating. That's very nice. Let's just start with what is your full name? Good job, Eduardo Ortiz. What is your full name? Let me see, Oscar, can you make it indirect? What is your full name? Full name. I'm sorry? Full name. My name is... Oscar Armando Cruz Hernandez. No, that's not correct. Oscar, I need you to check the picture on the WhatsApp chat. Le mandé una foto ahí en el WhatsApp. Revísela. Tiene que pasarlo a pregunta en directa. Ah. Indirecta. So, uh, more formal, more polite. Yes? Well, what is your full name? What is your full name is a direct question. So we're trying to change it into indirect question because indirect questions are more formal. They are more polite. They are more professional. Do you understand me? Hello? Do you understand me, guys? No, 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 no. Students? Yes, no? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I do, me. teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's go with another one, another participant. What is your full name? Let's see, Vidal. What is your full name? Transfer the question into indirect question. What is your full name? What is? What is your full name? Uh, my name is. Vidal Evelio Mejia Garcia. I know Vidal, but the question is, what is your full name? Make it indirect question. Okay, where is, where, oh, could you tell me what, for what name full, what name full name? What full name? El principio está bien. Could you tell me? Ahí ya, ahí ya lo, ahí ya sonamos formal. Could you, could you tell, tell me? Repeat, guys. Could, you, could te, you tell me? 
Could you tell me? Do you why? know? Repeat the Do students. You know? Could you no. tell me? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Okay. You tell me? Do you know? Do you know? This is more Do formal, you know? guys. This is more formal. Okay. Go ahead. Vidal, try Vidal, try. What is your full name? Now make it in direct question. Could you tell me uh, could you tell me full name? Mm, almost, almost. Revíseme por favor la imagen que le mandé al WhatsApp. A ver, ¿quién me le ayuda? Volunteer, raise your hand. Could you tell me what is your full name? What is your full name? Mm. Could you tell me what your full name is? Correcto. Could you okay. tell me what your full name is? The bird to be at the end. Check the picture on the WhatsApp. I'm telling you. Check the picture on the WhatsApp. No sé por qué no puedo compartir. Eh, creo que... Eh, Zoom se ha actualizado y me está dando problemas para compartir. I don't know why. Eh, so that's why les he enviado la imagen ahí en el, en el WhatsApp. Okay. Check the WhatsApp. Vean la fórmula en la que estamos. Estamos en la primera parte, ¿verdad? De cómo pasar los questions con um, WH questions with the verb to be into indirect questions. This is very simple. It should be very simple for you guys. Let's try, let's try. We have another question here by Sandra Cruz. Sandra says, where is the church? Where is the church? We know that when you ask the question like, excuse me, where is the church is formal. But when you make it indirect, it's even more you tell formal. Me where, where the church is? Permítame, vamos a apagar aquí a... My goodness. Can you repeat, Sandra? Could you tell me where the church is? Correct! Good job! <laughs> so that is more professional. Yeah? Where is the church? It's, it's a little direct, you know what I mean? So, Catedral. could you tell me where the church <laughs> is? Oh, it's more professional, Sandra. Come on. Good job. Good job. Let's go with the next question by Sandra also. It says, where is the supermarket? Don't forget the capital letter on the question, Sandra. Así como me hizo la primera, con letra mayúscula, siempre con letra mayúscula, porque iniciamos la pregunta, right? Where is the supermarket? Okay, ¿quién le ayuda a Sandra con la indirect question? Where is the supermarket? Volunteer. Do you know where the supermarket is? Fabulous. Good accent. Good intonation, Mr. Eliseo. Rising intonation because it's a question. Great job, sir. You sound very native. Thank you. Betcha. Okay, let's go with the next question. Uh, Eliseo, can you help us reading Jose's question on the chat? Hello? When did you visit your mother? That, is that Jose's question? Let me see. Jose's question has, he did like one, two, three questions actually. Oh, he did the indirect questions. Do you know where the national university is? Can you tell me where the lawyer is? Okay. Do you know where your brother is? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Iris Regina says, where is the church? Where's the supermarket? Ya lo hicimos. Uh, send me the picture here. Oh, send me the picture here. What happens is that, okay, let me send the picture there. Let me try, let me try. Satisfaction to all the students. <laughs> Looking for your satisfaction. Prepare more questions, okay? Keep sending more questions. Keep sending more questions. In the meantime, mientras estoy haciendo esto, in the meantime, escuchemos. Teacher, Go ahead. What the difference could you tell me? And do you know? No difference means 
They are no used difference. for indirect questions. No difference. No, because they are polite. They are professional when making a question. Okay. Do you understand the difference? It's different if I tell you, Sandra, where is the bank? Ah, uh, it's a little, it's a little demanding. It's a little, Sandra, where is the, where is the supermarket, Sandra? So mm -hmm. it's, it's a little strong. Mm -hmm. But if I tell you, Sandra, do you know where the bank is? Mm -hmm. Sandra, do you know where the supermarket is? You see the difference? Yes. It's more yes, professional. It Right. Okay, let's go with the next question. Thank you for your participation, Sandra. That's very good. You're very active today. That's nice. It is says, where is the coffee? Like the coffee, the coffee cup or the coffee shop or or the coffee maker or <laughs> Tango's coffee. The what? Tango's coffee. In front of them, I started. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. What kind of music do you like? Okay, ahí vamos con el do, pero quería ver. Ya no tenemos más. Ah, aquí está. Iris, esta está buena. Siempre con mayúscula, Iris, porfa. Where are the pharmacies? Okay, guys. Where are the pharmacies? Siempre. Can you tell me where the farmers are named? Mm, somewhat correct. You need to use the bird to be. What is the bird to be? Can you tell me where the pharmacies are? Uh, you see? Could you tell me where the pharmacies are? Are. Pharmacies. are. Good job. Good job. Do you, do you understand, Iris? Yes, sure. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, additional exercise for you, Sandra. Pay attention. Where are the bathrooms? Make it indirect. Where are the bathrooms? Could you tell me the bathroom? Bathroom are mm, somewhat correct. Could you tell me where where the bathroom are? Okay, okay, okay. Let, thank you, Sandra. Good job. Let me test, let me test um, Iris. Iris, pay attention. Iris, this is for you. Um, where are the soccer balls? Iris, come on. Can you, can you tell me um, can you tell me where are where the are the, the, the soccer balls? The, the soccer, soccer, the sport? Uh huh. Hey, can you tell me where are the soccer balls? Mm, no. No one can. No. You, you need you to make know? it indirect. Could you Jennifer, tell me? Go ahead. Jennifer. Jennifer is going to help you, it is. Jennifer is going to help you. Go ahead, Jennifer. Do you know where the soccer balls are? Okay. Just remember that it's plural, so you have to say soccer balls. With the letter S, soccer balls. Okay. Can you repeat? Can you repeat for Edis in the class? Okay. Do you <laughs> know where the soccer balls are? Do you know when the soccer balls are? When? No. Where? Where do you go? Mm, no. In the in direction the question. Repeat the repeat again, Jennifer. Please pay attention, it is in class. Do you know where the soccer balls are? Where do you, where are? I teacher. Where? Se entiende la dinámica que estamos haciendo, Iris? Is the, is the contra. Because he did, he did do, dijo, did, 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 dijo ella. No, ella no dijo did. Lo que estamos tratando de hacer es, 
tratar de pasar las preguntas que son algo directas, algo pesadas, con la WH y el verbo cero estar, pasarlos a forma indirecta. Al pasarlos a forma indirecta, estamos haciendo que la pregunta sea más cortés, más profesional. Esa es la meta. Entonces, la pregunta directa era, Where are the soccer balls? Esa era la pregunta directa. Es como, ¿dónde están las pelotas de, de, de fútbol? ¿Dónde están? Where are the soccer balls? Would you tell me where are the soccer ball? Creo que necesita usted ver la imagen que les he compartido. Sí. Vea la imagen que les he compartido. ¿Dónde está el verbo to be? En la pregunta de WH y dónde está el verbo to be en la pregunta de indirect question. Hay que poner atención en la ubicación. Porque cuando usted la hace en indirect questions, si se me, si se me vaya la imagen, verá que el verbo to be lo ubicamos al final de la pregunta. ¿Ya se dieron cuenta de eso, guys, todos? Uh, ah, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah. ya. Entonces sí. cambia un orden ahí. ¿Ok? Vámonos, sigamos analizando. Let's keep uh, working, ¿ok? We have more questions right here. Ok, Eliseo says, where is the graveyard? Good job, Eliseo. Let me look for another one also. Ok, where is the pet hospital? Ok, I like this one by Vidal. Vidal, siempre con mayúscula, por favor. Capital letter ahí cuando iniciamos la pregunta. Please, guys, llámenme perfeccionista, ¿verdad? Pero también al final el signo de interrogación, porfa, el question mark, porque son preguntas. Ok, so, usemos esta pregunta. Where no, 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 is the pet bien. hospital? Where is the pet hospital? Volunteers. ¿Puedo? ¿Puedo? Yes, of course, Sandra, go ahead. Could you tell me where the pet hospital is? Correct. Could you tell me where the pet hospital is? And you raise your intonation because your intonation is also important. Yeah. Very good, Sandra. Good Thank job. You. Let's go to the next question right here. I'm sorry? Teacher, do you know where, where is the pet hospital? Um, in indirect question you know is, where? could you tell me where the uh, pet hospital is? Uh, could you tell me? Yeah. <laughs> where the pet hospital? Okay, guys, le dejo ahí eso para que lo practiquen. Please, 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 you have to master these guys. Esto más que todo lo tenemos que manejar porque es la forma de hablar más profesional y eso es lo que buscamos en los trabajos, ¿verdad? Que usted tenga habilidades para tratar bien a los clientes, ¿verdad? No le diga a usted, what's your name? No, ¿verdad? What's your name, sir? What's your name, ma'am? No, ¿verdad? Es muy directo. Diferente que usted le diga, um, could you tell me what your name is? Wow, la otra persona go, wow, my name is, eh, it is Regina Hernandez, nice to meet you, right? So it's more elegant, it's more formal. Vámonos a la otra forma, ok? Abajo está en la, en la parte de abajo en la imagen. Nuevamente, chicos, las disculpas no puedo compartir, no sé cuál es el problema con Zoom. Lo voy a reportar también al equipo. Y dice acá, WH question with do or did. Aquí sí, vamos a usar do. O vamos a usar did, ok? Attention. Los, los auxiliary verbs, remember? Do and did. Ok, check it out. La primera pregunta, first question. How often do you, I'm sorry, how often do the buses leave? Ok. How often, like in Spanish, um, eh, ¿qué tan frecuente se van los buses, verdad? ¿Qué tan frecuente el fluido? So, para me, to make it in direct question, you can say, can you tell me how often the buses leave? Ahí no hay mucho cambio, ¿verdad? Solo agregamos, could you tell me practically? Vean la diferencia. And then we have also, what time, what time does the bank open? Ojo, aquí estamos usando un auxiliary verb, right? Un auxiliary verb, does the bank, porque estamos hablando de un lugar, and open, que es el verbo. Entonces, Vamos a usar, do you know, do you know, 
what time the bank opens. Y vamos a poner ese verbo en tercera persona, opens, con la letra S, porque el verbo principal es no. Do you know? Ahí se cumple la regla del auxiliar, ¿verdad? Do con el verbo tiene que ir en su, en su forma base. Aquí este verbo no tenía que ir justo así, sin cambio. So, this way, eh, open, que es un verbo secundario, pues agregamos S, to add S, opens. Do you know what time the bank opens? Okay, and the last one, maybe we can use any other WH question, but when did flight 566 arrive? This is simple past. And to make it indirect, we're gonna play with the verbs. The verb is um, when did flight 566 arrive? So arrive is the verb. Do you know when the flight 566 arrived? He arrived lo vamos a poner ahora en pasado, no en tercera persona, sino en pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando del pasado, right? Um, also, porque también el verbo no ya cumple la regla, ¿verdad? De um, el auxiliar. Entonces, arrived, que es un verbo secundario, tiene que ir modificado. Teacher. Yes. With in direct questions, the past is not in the, auxil in the auxiliary verb. It's in the main verb. That's a very good question. Can you repeat the question for the class? Pay attention, guys. That uh, in most of the structures that we have seen until today, we have seen that the past in questions is in the auxiliary verb. But here, um, what I'm I can notice that the, the past tense is in the main verb, it's not in the auxiliary verb. Correct, that's right. You're not gonna use did anymore, right? You're not gonna use did anymore because you are speaking with the person real time. And since you're speaking with the person real time, you ask in simple present. And what's the simple present auxiliary? Do, it's super easy. Right? Do is the auxiliary you will use because that's the one to make the question in the simple present, indirect questions. Uh, you will say, do you know when the flight 566 arrived? Arrived is the key word right there. So it's very important. Guys, we only have 25 minutes. Let's just start with the first one, okay? The first one is how often. Can you, can you send or can you say, how often questions for example how often do the buses leave okay how often how often does she uh, call her family um how often do you um practice your english etc go ahead prepare your question with how often right now we're gonna use some minutes for how often some minutes for what time and some minutes for what did or when did etc Let's see, we have more examples right here. Um, Jose says, how often do you eat pupusas? Okay, how often do you eat pupusas? That is a direct question. Maybe a person can take it like, wow, why you asked me that, right? Because it's very direct, um, especially if you don't have enough confidence. So can you volunteer to make this question in direct question, please raise your virtual hand. Thank you, Jose, good question. Okay, guys, raise your build your hand, go ahead. How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you visit your mom? Wait, 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 give me, wait for that question. I'm waiting for someone to transfer Jose's question into an indirect form. Yeah? Teacher. All right, Sandra, go ahead. How often do you tengo, eat pupusas? Eh, tengo una duda. ¿Tiene que ir verbo al final? En o esta forma. En así? How often? Uh -huh. how, do, how, how often do you eat pupusas? ¿Es correcto? Sí, esa es la pregunta que estamos trabajando. ¿Está correcta? Sí, 
Esa es la pregunta que estamos trabajando. Estamos okay, tratando okay, de pasarla okay. a indirect. A ver, intentémoslo, guys. Pasémosla a indirect. Can you, can you tell me how often do you eat pupusas? Correct. Correct. Can you, could, could you tell me or can you tell me how often you eat pupusas? Good job. That was very easy. That was very easy. Let's use another question. It says, how often do you run on the week? Mm. Vamos a modificarla ahí, okay? Let me see, who says that? Jennifer, okay, Jennifer. We're gonna modify it right there, Jennifer, a little bit. I'm gonna correct you right now. And you're gonna say, how often do you run? You quisiste decir los días de, los días de la semana, de lunes a viernes, quieres decir, verdad? Vas a decir weekdays. Okay. How often? <laughs> how often? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Just chatting. Yes. Uh, how often do you run on weekdays? Monday to Friday. Remember, weekends, it's Saturday and Sunday. So, eh, lo que pregunta Jenny es only Monday to Friday. Okay. Weekdays. How often do you run on weekdays? Uh huh. Make it. Indirect question. Come on, guys, volunteer. Come on, come on, come on. Can you, Can you tell, tell me? me how often do you run on weekdays? Okay. <laughs> Eliseo and Jose are rock and rolling with this topic. Oh my God. But we have to. I'm sorry, Eliseo. <laughs> We're it's taking it easy. Congratulations, Teacher. guys. Yes, go ahead. Just, just have something to add. Uh, Sandra's question was because in my question about pupusas, the main verb is before the subject. But in the in the example, and uh, how often do the bosses live? The verb is at the end of the sentence. That's why she oh, asked yeah, uh, you might that be question right. before. Is that correct? But Sandra? I think it, it depends on the question you are asking. Yes. Where the ver where the main bear is it's going to be? Especially when it's third person. And thank you so much for that catch, uh, Jose. Uh, let's make a third person question to to try to emphasize that. Okay. Can you try to make like a, uh, when, I'm sorry, like, um, how do you say that? Third person, we can say a plural question, for example, a plural question, like in this one, right? When do the buses leave? Can you make, for example, what? When do the dogs eat, for example? But anyways, this is a little tricky sometimes, because of Jose, what Jose was explaining. But it's a matter of practicing, guys. It's a matter of practicing. When you practice this and when you have a conversation uh, using these, like right now we're doing it, you master the topic. You master the topic because you become very knowledgeable. Very, very knowledgeable. We don't have so much time, guys. So we're going to move to the next one. And that is using, again, a WH word now, what time? And we're going to use do or does, right? And we're going to use a subject and the verb, right? For example, what time does the bank open? And the indirect question is, do you know what time the bank opens in third person, right? So we're going to make a... For example, what time does, does the bakery close? For example, what time does the bakery close? Let me chat that one. Can you transfer it into, with the exception of Jose and Eliseo that they, are, they really mastered this topic. Uh, can the rest of the students try to um, transfer this question into indirect question? I'm sorry, I won't consider your participation this time. Jose Eliseo, take it easy, okay? <laughs> uh -huh, guys, what time does the bakery close? 
Can you make it indirect question, please? Do you know? Do you know what time does the bakery close? Mm, yes and no. Do you know is correct, close. but but do you don't need you don't need the the um. Remember that you're going to omit right some information. You're going to use the verb at the end. Close goes at the end, right? Can you try? Do you know? Do you know what time does the bakery close? Closes. Closes. Uh -huh. Closes. Do you know what time? What time? The bakery. You're not gonna use does again, okay? You're not gonna use does again, only do. Do you know? That's the auxiliary in the indirect question. Do you know? Do you know, do you time? know what time does the bakery no, 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 close? No, no, no. Does is only in the direct question, Sandra. Uh, in the indirect question, you don't use does because you're using do. Do in the same in the first phrase is do you know? So that's the auxiliary. You don't need okay. does. Okay. okay. Yes. Try. 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 Do you know what time the bakery closed? Closes. Closes. Bakery. Bakery closes. Do you know what time the bakery closes? <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, now it's your turn. It's your turn. Make a question, chat a question, say a question using what time does the? All right, what time does the? Give me a question like that. Give me a question like that. What time does they? You can chat the question, Jose, Eliseo, please help us with the learning process of the whole class as well, right? Cooperating with the massing learning process. Come on, come on, chat a question, say a question. Come on, come on. Eliseo says, what time does the class begin? Wonderful question, sir. What time does the class begin? Okay, guys, come on, come on. Make it indirect, come on. Raise your virtual hand. Come on, come on, come on. Raise your virtual hand. What time? Okay, we have two questions, but let's, let's, let's cover the first question first. Eliseo's question, what time does the class begin? What time does the class begin? Make it indirect. Oscar, make it indirect. Do you know, do you know what time does the class do? You're using two auxiliaries. That's not correct. You're using do and you're using does. It's, it's not possible. Only one uh, that's, auxiliary. Does you know? Does you know is not correct. Do does, you know? No, do you know what time does? No, you're using two auxiliaries. It's not possible, Oscar. Pay attention. It's only one auxiliary. Okay, let's let me let me listen to who? Let me listen to Michelle. Michelle, are you there, Michelle Barrientos? Yes, yes. Can you try? Can you try, Michelle? What time does the class begin? Uh do you know what time the class? I know. <laughs> stop I'm being, stop being, stop being. Go ahead, go ahead. What time the class begins? Begin now. Yes. Ah, uh, es que tenemos un poquito de bullita ahí, pero no, no See, alcanzo. I'm sorry. Okay. Do, okay. do you know what time the class begins? Okay, faltó algo. La tercera persona. Yes, at the end. Yes. Yes. What time the class begins? The class begins. begins. Do, Do you know, know what time the class begins? You understand? Repeat, Oscar. Do you know what time the class begins? Begins. Begins. Yay! 
Yes. Only one auxiliary. Yes. Good job, Oscar. Okay, we're learning English. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now let's go with Jose's question. Jose says, what time does the restaurant open? All right, thank you for putting your classmates to work, Jose. Okay, guys. Yes, teacher, do you know what time the restaurant opens? Yes, we got it. We got it. Great job. All right, let's go with the next question. Okay, the next question is, in simple past, okay? When did flight 566 arrive? So the indirect question, because it's in simple past, we're going to eliminate the auxiliary did is eliminated, yes? Mm -hmm. Because we use, do you know? Do is the auxiliary, okay? That being said, you will say the verb in the simple past, in the simple past form, okay? Very good, very good. So what I want now is that you can chat, you can prepare a question in simple past, similar to the question we have in the picture. I'll give you two minutes to prepare questions in simple past, WH, WH question, when, why, how, etc. did, right? The subject and the verb. Two minutes to prepare two, two, well, as many as you can, but let's practice our best. Two minutes to prepare. Go ahead, two minutes to prepare. Wait, what time is it guys? What time do you have? My computer is really- 9 p.m. Yeah. I'm so excited that I want to continue with the class. <laughs> I'm very happy having fun with learning English with you guys. Are you learning English? Are you learning English or no? Huh? Well, at least Jose and, Jose and um, Eliseo, are, maybe you're not learning, but you're practicing your English, right, guys? What? I want to thank you for your participation and your contribution in the class. Guys. Let's continue studying English, okay? See you, have a good weekend, and we'll meet one more time on Monday at 8 p.m. Good night. Good night. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Have a nice bye. weekend. Bye-bye. Good weekend, bye.